thinking about religion, and especially in Africa, or in Kenya where I come from, you'll find that the men are the ones who are the religious leaders. They are the bishops, they are the pastors, they are the clergy. It's the men who are actually in those positions. And many times, they do not understand the complexities that a woman goes through. And many times they interpret the Bible or the Quran or any other of these religious books at the disadvantage of the woman. For instance, in issues of family planning, they will get to those areas which discourage women from using family planning, like, you know, go out and multiply and fill the earth. <laughs> that is something that is easily used. But we've also found that when we engage the religious leaders, when we bring them together, and when we talk to them about the benefits of family planning, and even get those verses that support spacing of children, they've been able to support family planning. And we've been able to use the church compounds. We've been able to talk about family planning in a church setting. And because they are supportive of our family planning, then women within the church have come forward and are using family planning. But until they get to that point where they become champions, where they change their perspective, and where they now see it from a different perspective, there will always be a barrier to some of the advancements of women. But when they are converted, they become champions of women's health, and we are able, for instance, for our family planning uh, campaigns and outreaches, we actually do it in the church or in the most compounds. And that has been really a shift, because for a long time, even when you talk to women who went to the mosque or who went to church about family planning, they would say that our religion forbids us from using contraceptives. But now, after talking to the religious leaders, they are able to talk about spacing, and we don't talk about family planning. When we are talking to religious leaders, we do not use the word contraceptives or family planning. We use the word healthy spacing and timing of pregnancy. Because then that term really resonates with them. It's a healthy spacing and timing of pregnancy for the benefit of the mother and for the benefit of the baby. So they also use those terms and are currently supporting family planning and are promoting it. And we are using their compounds for family planning. We are using them as champions for family planning. And we are seeing good results.